I'm from the great white north, right? Like up above the state? Yeah. The big landmass that the rest of the world hates? Yeah. Well, we're like above that. In north, I guess. The big patch of trees where everybody's bored to death. We're just chilling up here, sipping syrup, playing hockey. Before we learn to walk, we can cross-check properly. Just rocking plaid jackets, chainsaws, we operate them. Right. A right we do, bud. We cut our weight in firewood. Every 20 minutes or so, smoke break. And if the Leafs make the playoffs, I'll fucking jump in the lake. Fucking buddy comes over to my place the other night, and he's like, You wanna go out for a rip? And I was like, Fucking right. Yeah. So we hop in the truck and hit the mud, and I was like, Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Just out for a rip, are you, bud? Just out for a rip. Just out for a rip, are you, bud? Just out for a rip. Just out for a rip, are you, bud? Just out for a rip. Just out for a rip, are you, bud? Just out for a rip. I come from the land of the polite, where it's covered in ice. So when I'm down in the States, they're like, you're too fucking nice. There's the old cabin. She's got a bit of work done to her. This summer, resurrected a little bit. There's some of the junk that's been laying around here for years and years. There's the old fire barrel there. And, uh, yeah, reasonable amount of work done on her. Oh, we'll have a boo inside here. Nice and cozy. Look at that. Only one wet spot on the floor. Uh, I'm not sure how clear this is going to be coming in. The lens is a little wet. There's the last piece of the puzzle. We packed our gear all the way down. It's raining like crazy up here. December 27th. Up at uh, Gold Claim on the Fraser River. And uh, yeah, it looked more like a like a Todd Hoffman mining operation uh, the first half of the day. The hitch broke on the dirt bike from the trailer and then we couldn't get the bike back up the hill and yeah, it was a gong show. So we ended up just uh, packing this stuff down by by foot. So we're, we're just about there. Let's see if I can angle us into the, into the wind and rain here. We're gonna be mining just down to that bottom corner. Uh, I don't know if we can see Scotty down there, but he's got some shiny pants on. And uh, we'll start filming again once we get the sluice set up. And uh, we're going to give the old hopper, vibrating hopper, her virgin run. See if we can get some gold. So uh, we'll uh, go from there. One last little walk. The there we go. So I got some break in the weather here. Scotty and Ryan here, the Salmon Head Mining Company. Old Milwaukee Mining. Uh, Mining Corporation. Scott's gonna run down there and fire up that pump after he fires fires a beer into him. And uh, then we're gonna get a little shot of the old uh, hopper sluice box run here. And uh, yeah, it should be pretty good. We're gonna dig dig behind this rock here and uh, see what we can do here. It was a hell of a hell of a trek to get that gear down here I'll refrain from swearing but it was a son of a bitch to get it all down here so uh, I did some testing here last time I was out and uh, I was getting some pretty good gold out from behind this rock here beside it but uh, we've got miles and miles of freaking cobble gravel bar here to pick over and find out what's good uh, and so I guess we'll uh, do some digging get a bit of a stockpile going and then we'll uh, do a real run on it but uh, there it is, all set up finally. Ready to rock and roll. Hopefully our, uh, our two-bit hose union holds up. Hopefully Scott knows what he's doing with that water pump. But uh, yeah, it should be pretty good, I reckon. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the water. Much fanfare. You got it at full throttle? More! All the way! I guess he doesn't understand what all the way is. There we go. So we did a little adjustment here. This is the first time we've had it set up up here, but my sluice box is a little a little far forward, but uh We'll do some adjustments, we'll get a stockpile going, 
And then we'll turn the old vibrator on. See my, my electronics might float away here, so we'll get that out of the way. Okay. All right, well, we'll get some, get some dirt right. All right, so here we are. We got the sluice box all set up here. Got her working away. Go ahead, Scotty, you can shovel some dirt on there. And there it is. Working away. Give the old copper vibrating away in the corner here. Doing its thing. Splashing rocks. Gonna top the old tin can there. Can you see them rocks? Just making her making her way out. Just like you're supposed to. No clear and necessary. Seems to do a pretty darn good job. Load her up. Washing away. And then down the old sluice box. I'll take you over to the pump here. Follow our line. The river and show you our good setup here. You might get a bit of an idea here because this is pretty slick. So we got our Honda Honda water pump going like crazy, and uh, you'll notice there's no fuel tank on it. And we run the gas line right out of the jerry can here. And it's on uh, gravity feed. And we're going to run the fuel line on the top of the gas tank. Grab the ball. A work thing. And then right on the top of the pump. For a bit of a wild ride there, those rocks are slick. Whatever you do, don't drop the camera. And uh, I'm feeding our, feeding our wash plant pretty good here. We're a fair ways away from the river. Don't have a big settling pond, but we do have a bit of a settling area here. And we're probably 100 feet from the river anyway. And there's Scotty, the construction worker, throwing rocks like crazy into the old, uh, into the wash plant. So we'll set the camera up here somewhere where we can. Oh, you guys probably aren't at it. Just washing rocks, watching, watching us wash rocks anyhow. And there's the little box. All that good stuff. And uh, no clearing the, no clearing the gray, the grizzlies. Anyhow, load it in and it just slowly breaks down and washes across the sluice box. So I think it, uh, I think it seems to be working pretty good. We're getting ourselves a bit of a hole here, so we're going to uh, do a little test pan here before we go too much deeper. But uh, yeah, the weather's terrible out here today, but that's the way she goes, right? Well, Scotty, our day is done. What do you reckon? He's got his foot. Whatever's left of the beer that was in the cabin here, he certainly earned it today. Lucky! Lucky logger, yeah. There's our bit of gas. There's me. I don't know what the hell I look like. I probably look like uh, you canned ass. Shit all over your face, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Get dirt all over Smutting your face. myself up for the camera. <laughs> anyway, she's four o'clock here up in uh, sunny Kanaka Bar. And uh, we just shut her down. It rained pretty, pretty steady there most of the day. Didn't get a lot of footage, but. Uh, we got a few, few, uh, I don't know, maybe a liter of concentrates there from the from the hog mat. So uh, we'll run it through the uh, through the blue bowl and see how bad we really did. So here we are in the uh, in the gold lab. Of course, I'm much better looking than I was yesterday. I'm sure. Um, this is about all we got for concentrates yesterday. Not a whole heck of a lot, but. Uh, a little bit. Got a chance to test out the uh, the gold hog matting, um, 
and the uh, the vibrating hopper, uh, which worked pretty well. I think there's still some adjustments we can be made. We uh, we didn't have well, I wouldn't say we didn't have good recoveries, but we did have some pretty substantial losses. Um, some of the adjustments we made uh, really helped out, but uh, still losing a fair amount of gold. So, uh, but for the first the first one hour run or two hour run. Um, I wasn't I wasn't terribly unimpressed. So we got things set up a little bit more. We've got my plus 40s uh, pan down a little further, which is good. But uh, I'm going to be real careful with that one because uh, there's actually some pretty good sized flakes in there. And uh, we got our blue bowl all set up here. We've got some uh, some jet dry down in there to soften things up. Hopefully keep things moving nicely. And um, and uh, we're going to put a couple scoops of concentrate in here and hopefully it'll wash out nicely. Yeah, yesterday we had the, uh, the old dirt bike up at the hill and uh, it didn't work out very well at all. Um, the hill was too steep, the dirt bike, and, uh, and the trailer hitch that I had my little dump trailer uh, hitched onto broke off the back of the bike pretty pretty quickly didn't uh, didn't really put up much of uh, a useful effort so it was more of a gong show more of a Todd Hoffman show I should say um, than, uh, than any kind of production so uh, the weather didn't cooperate it was uh, it was quite a uh, quite a pretty much what you see on on gold rush except for uh, um, we actually got some gold at the end of it so uh, we're going to let the old blue bowl start to do its thing. You can see that jet dry frothing up there a little bit, but it uh, should uh, start to carry the black sands and some of the, some of the uh, lighter blonde sands away. You can see things starting to crawl up and out of there, some of the organics. You can see it's starting to sweep some things around quite nicely. Bringing everything slowly towards the middle. And you can see a little line of sand there as it makes its way up the top. But there's plenty of videos on YouTube about what a blue bowl does, so we'll let that sit there and do its thing. And uh, we'll come back here and have a look at uh, some of these, some of these plus 40s that we got in here. Just sort of pan it out. Got this little pan off my claim. It was left there by the previous claim owner, so it's actually turned out to be a really nice little finishing pan. I'm uh, pretty happy with it. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy with that. Pretty good sized flake up in there. Wash those last few pieces of black, black rock out of there. So my oops, ooh, 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 just caught it. It's just on its way out. Well, I think that's good enough. So there it is. There's my plus 40s. Anyway, I'll cover up this little light here. Maybe that'll help. Yeah. There we go. It's not a bad little, not a bad little pan of gold there. Obviously, it's not a big pan. You can see the size of my hand here. It's still a little mini. What'll that be? 10-inch pan. But, uh, yeah, not too bad for the big stuff. Can't complain about that. Better than a kick in the ass, anyway. So we'll, uh, 
stare at that for a while and uh, well, let's see how the old blue bowl is going here. <coughs> and there's the old blue bowl there. Let's see if I cover up that light again. So we can see. Oh, pretty tough to see. Maybe the light will help. Sure it does. Uh, we've got all kinds of little bits and pieces all the way around here. Oh, there's a little flake there. Sneak snuck through a couple of little pieces on the minus 40s, but they'll be pretty close to that 40 mesh size. Yeah, little bits and pieces all throughout there. So that's two spoonfuls of the concentrate. So I can't say that uh, the gold hog didn't catch some of the smaller stuff, but after pan panning the tailings, um, I can certainly say that I can, uh, I could uh, be capturing more, but um, I think the hopper may be feeding uh, a little too aggressively for the water I have. I think I might need some more water on there. So we'll uh, let this do its thing, and um, we'll get a whole bucket full of it here. Well, a little ice cream pail, and then we'll. Uh, have a look at the final uh, the final amount. So here we are back in the nice warm house. <clears throat> Got all the cleanup done. Ran the blue ball. Ran all my concentrates. Um, definitely going to be uh, heading down to get another classifier. Um, running that uh, running those concentrates just through a 30 mesh screen and. Uh, and then blue bowling whatever was left over certainly isn't the uh, the way to go. It, uh, uh, it appears that uh, I'm definitely going to have to classify a little bit more. Uh, hopefully down to uh, a 50 or 70 mesh and then on from 100 mesh to uh, to run that blue bowl more effectively. But um, even with losses um, due to the matting or I won't say due to the matting but due to the uh, probably incorrect setup I didn't do too badly. Um, Probably, well, it's tough to say what my losses were, but uh, there was definitely some losses in the testing uh, when I was testing out the uh, tailings. But um, I'm I'm pretty pleased. We dug for dug for about an hour, I guess, hour and a half maybe. Uh, I've got a pretty good hole, size hole dug, but for reference, uh, let's see if we'll take this light and cover it up here. All right, so for reference. Um, this little uh, patch of gold right here, see if we can get it to focus here for us, not so much. Um, this little bit of gold here in the bottom of this vial, that's what I've collected to date. That's my, uh, that's my running total from all my mostly panning operations. Uh, I've run the sluice box a couple of times, but nothing really, uh, nothing really serious. Um, but that's my running total. That's what I show to all my friends. Tell them, oh yeah, what a good gold miner I am. Uh, but this uh, this last re weekend was probably the first uh, real weekend on the claim. Well, real real day, and not even that. Um, we spent about five and a half hours packing down material to the uh, to the dig site. Um, another half an hour or so to get all the equipment set up, and we dug for two hours, but we stopped for lunch. Uh, stopped for lots of cigar and beer breaks um, and um, this is what we got a uh, nice uh, nice little haul of uh, haul of gold here I'm not sure what it weighs I don't have a set of scales here but that's almost almost as much as uh, as I've ever gotten uh, that just about doubles my my historical take so I'm pretty uh, pretty pleased with that it's some pretty nice uh, fine material. I did have some, um, I had about 30 flakes that were plus plus 30 mesh, which I was pretty pleased with. It's always nice to see some larger flakes in there. Um, and then lots of uh, lots of that 50 to 100 range and uh, and quite a few little fly spec uh, or fly poop specs um, that um, that I found out in the blue bowl as well so hopefully everybody enjoyed the video and uh, feel free to make any comments you like and uh, I'll help where I can
This has to be in the video. <laughs> Jesus.